Hello and welcome to The Children of the Clay. Now this is a short stop motion archaeological horror game um, where you have to study an ancient artifact and uncover its dark secrets. Now that was a very interesting concept to me. I love stop motion, an archaeological horror game, not heard of anything like that before. Yeah, it sounds a little interesting so I want to see what it's like. Um, yeah, and if you want to be an archaeologist, link as always will be in the description below. I really hope you enjoy it, and as always, thank you in advance for watching. But let's get straight into it. Name Artifact NR297. Site Kurgan Burial Mound 7B Ural Mountains. Material Clay. Age unknown. Function unknown. This feature resembles a human face. It, it does a little bit. Curious. This feature resembles a tail. Does it? Are you on about this little bit right here? Because that's not where I even clicked. I, I guess it's kind of like doing the whole section. Uh, okay. Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it's possible to extract it. Maybe we can find out what kind of metal it is. Looks like some sort of etching. I should use the magnifier to look closer. Alright, um, is that what this is? Yes, yes, that's it. It seems to be some sort of runes. But I don't recognise the type. Maybe we can find something in my books. Okay. Interesting. Right. Oh, it's written down the runes. So that's convenient. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so say about the books. Okay, search for. Okay. Um. So I'm guessing this specific buzzwords that it's gonna have. What about what about clay? Okay. Pottery is the process of performing objects with clay and other raw materials, which are fired at high temperatures to give them a hard and durable form. It is one of the oldest human inventions, originating before the Neo Neolithic period, with ceramic objects dating back to 29,000 to 25,000 BC. Interesting. Right. Uh, metal. The earliest archaeological support of smelting, hot met meteorolo meteorology. I don't know how you say that word. Hot metallurgy is dated to around 6,000 to 5,000 BC. The most common metals found on archaeological sites are iron, copper, lead, tin, zinc, and their alloys. Because iron is mag uh, magnetic, it can be easily distinguished from the rest. Okay. Is that what this is for? Do we... Compass is detecting a magnetic field, so it's likely... So it likely contains iron. Interesting. The iron object. So we've distinguished that we've got iron in it. Um... Tail? <laughs> Couldn't find anything relevant. Uh, clay tail? Wait, did I, did I accidentally not? Clay? No, I can't do space. Alright. Uh, sure. Clay face? I'm just trying to look at things. I, I know what I need to do at this moment in time. I need to I need to decipher these runes, which if I type runes, there we go. The old and hairy Hungarian Hungarian script or Hungarian runes is an alphabetic writing system used for writing the Hungarian language. At the establishment of the Christian Hungarian kingdom, the old writing system was partially forced out, um, partially forced out of use during the rule of King Stephen, and 
the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professions, uh, some professions, e.g., shepherds who use the Rolbuck stick to officially track the number of animals, the script has remained in use. Old Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. Let me translate them into a chart. Okay. This is actually quite interesting. It's actually giving some information. I'm, I'm liking this. It's Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, okay, so Hung Hungarian letters are usually written from right to left. So I need to decipher this down here. But I also have to go from right to left. So start here and that way. Okay. So let's write this down. So we've got... Uh, Two of the same here. So, wait, how many letters are there? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So, I'm going to have to remember how I'm writing this because I'm going to write it from left to right, but I'm translating it from right to left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confusing myself here. Uh, no, it's fine. So, um, let's. Yeah, okay. So let's just figure this out. So we've got the two. So one and four are the same letter. So what we've got. Also, what's with these? What's with these ones here? C S G Y S Z and Z S or and T Y N Y L Y. Jesus, there's a lot of them. What's with that? What's what's that kind of writing? Is that real? Or is that actually a real thing about this? I don't know. Uh, anyway. So the first one is U. Okay, so we write U in one and U in four. Second one was a capital H. Uh, not C S. Uh, R. I think that's R. Keep an eye out for anything else, but it looks like it's R. Three is like a plus sign. Uh, D? Yeah, it could be D. We'll try D. Uh, backwards C for the fifth one. O? And then, kind of looks like two mountains. A small mountain at the front and a bigger one at the back. <laughs> uh, is that G? Let's just double check, see that. I think that's G. Uh, yeah, that's G. Birdwog? Erdewog? Is that what that says? Is that who you are? Are you Erdewog? No, that's not right. Erdu... Erdewog. Couldn't find anything relevant. Okay, so that's not right. I messed up somewhere. Oh, wait. Did I just mess up? Have I... It's not O, is it? What about what about N? What about N instead on the fifth one? Right, let's let's try that. Um, U R D U N G. There we go. Yorgung. Yorgung? Is that it? Yordung. Yordung. Old Hungarian is a shape-shifting demonic creature from the Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization, it was identified it was identified with the devil. One surviving folktale about Odung involved one of the spawns of Odung's arriving to earth and the shaman of the village Consulting. 
consulting the spirits to learn. Is that consulting? I don't know what happens there. We're consulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. And that's what we've got trapped in here. Right. Interesting. Some sort of dark liquid is flowing out of the holes. Looks like the dark liquid loosened the metal object. Well, for curiosity's sake, let's see what happens. Probably wasn't good. Can we interact with anything? from the newspaper articles titled The Children Play. Just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving a broken artifact, the team working on the remote site in the Urals has made an astonishing discovery. A previously unknown underground chamber containing a dozen similar clay, small clay figures has been discovered. They are indeed in contact with several universities across the globe to further study them. Probably don't. Okay, so that was The Children of Clay. I really like that. It didn't have so much horror, it kind of had the build up on the thing, but I really thought that was interesting. It's like a game I've not played before, it's so different, just doing the archaeological thing. I liked the research in it, um, understanding it. I kind of took a while to figure out the difference between some of the characteristics of things. I don't know if those runes are real. But yeah, that was very interesting. I actually really enjoyed that game. It was a lot of fun. It's a shame it was such a short one, but yeah, good. I, I like to see more games like this. I hope this game could be expanded, maybe. Um, maybe build up more. Maybe just have different things. Maybe make it into a series of doing these kind of explorations on different things. That would be quite interesting. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, why not consider subscribing? It would mean the world to me, and it really does help out a lot. But... That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.